What's going on guys? Johnny GB here bringing you guys part two of the Pokemon trading card game free to play. I'm giving you guys a tutorial breakdown of how to make a very good free to play account in which you guys can become uh, top tier TCG players without having to spend a single dime on the trading card game. So last part what we did is we had a breakdown went through the tutorial got some good cards um, one of those being a very good GX card in uh, where to go Golisopod so this is a very good card to get from that tutorial for one energy it does 30 damage but if it becomes the active Pokemon this turn it does 90 more damage very good with the trainer card Guzma so what we're going to do here today is we're going to go into the trainer challenge. Now you see we have three decks here. We have electric, water, and fire. Um, you also get challenges for doing these. So you have to unlock some cards from the deck. And when you look at the opponents, uh, once we play them, you have three different difficulties. Uh, if you max out the stars on them, you get a free booster pack. Free booster packs are great. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play the water deck. And if you win seven games, different games, not seven of the same guy, with the deck, that means you get cards unlocked, you get the deck to level up to where you get booster packs, coins. So here we have the water deck, which is not bad. We have Magikarp and we have Psyduck. So we're going to open up a Psyduck because Magikarp only has 30 HP. Nothing great about Magikarp. Alright, so my opponent did not open up with any Pokemon in their hand. So what happens when you don't have any Pokemon in your hand? You take a Mulligan. What is a Mulligan? You shuffle your hand into your deck, draw six new cards, seven new cards, and your opponent gets to draw an extra card. Uh, for our sake, we're drawing extra cards, so that is not bad. So not much I can do this turn. Other than play a Silk Scarf, which... Heals 20 damage any time I play an energy onto my Pokemon, which is a good, it's a good start. Now again, these are Sun and Moon, or not, these are X and Y cards, these are not Sun and Moon cards. I wish they would update it a little bit for Sun and Moon cards, but eh, that's okay. So here we have last a special, draw a card for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Well, my opponent has four bench Pokemon, so it's good to use it right now. So let's play Eevee. And here we have a good, a cool expanded card. We have Dive Ball. So Dive Ball lets me search for a water Pokemon, reveal it, add it to my hand. Well, I can't really play a Gold Duck because the deck hasn't unlocked a Gold Duck. So this is all I can really do. Is search the Vaporeon. But you know what? I mean, I'm okay with that because I can evolve the Vaporeon next turn. Vaporeon actually has an ability. Each one of your stage one Pokemon in play is now a water Pokemon. So, say I were to play a Porygon 2, which is a stage one, I could actually evolve my Porygon to Porygon 2 and it become a water type. That was something cool about the evolutions from the X and Y era was they all had an ability that changed the type of your Pokemon with the exception of Umbreon, Espeon, Glaceon, and Leafeon. Those were all available in EXs. So here, we're gonna play Eevee, and we are going to actually start building up my Eevee because I need three energy to do Hydro Splash damage. Um, but Psyduck here is going to put in the work here and just slowly start to chip away. Downside is Knockoff is going to hit and thankfully knocks just a water energy out of my hand. I'm okay with losing a water energy. The downside is I need to draw a support card here soon so that I don't lose to this Licky Licky. Licky Licky is actually a threat as it's going to pick up a kill right here. Because Licky Chop does 60. So unfortunately I do lose my Psyduck but we will... I'm going to stall a turn here and I'm just going to play Magic Card. This is so that I can get some draw stuff. Hopefully... I will end up going down on prizes, but you guys can see here, I need another energy for my Vaporeon. So I need to uh, 
really just hope that I get a energy here soon. So I will have to, uh, unfortunately, sack off a few Pokemon. So there's the water energy. So I will lose my Porygon next turn. But if you guys see there, he has 60 damage on his Licky Licky. My Vaporeon does 70, so we will be able to pick up a kill and hopefully start a comeback now. We should be able to pick up a comeback now. Now, hopefully we can get some draw support cards here. Tierno, Shauna's, whatever. Because I will need draw support here. And he is in the same boat here. Where now he is trying to make sure that he gets something of his built up. And I'm kind of just doing the same at this point now. But Vaporeon, slowly catching us up. Early game with this uh, free-to-play, the games are going to be slow. And your standard decks, uh, they won't be the greatest. As, oh, we got pretty lucky there on the continuous headbutt. Uh, here we go. Very good supporter card. So we're going to play Magic Magikarp onto the bench. We're going to play N. So N, shuffle our hands into the deck draw the same number of cards as we have prizes left. Since my opponent has three prizes left, he draws three. Uh, here we have Pokemon Catcher. If we flip a heads, we can bring a Pokemon into the active. So, we can bring in a Pidov. Why Pidov? Because I can actually knock it out. And we can play a Sea King onto the bench. Or a Goldeen onto the bench. And now we get a knockout work tie game. We're 3-3. Oh, come on. My Wi-Fi connection's been awful so far today. It's just upsetting right now. Come on, don't disconnect. Ah. All right, let's log back in. Can I go an episode so far without having this issue? It'd be very good. It'd be fantastic, actually. I would love it if I could have an episode where it didn't uh, just log me off. But, I mean, that's the thing with the Pokemon trading card game. At one point, it's going to log you out, whether you like it or not. It's just what it is. I'm actually disappointed because um, they had maintenance earlier today, and I was hoping I could actually record a couple episodes today, but it looks like I will. I'll get a couple ep episodes recorded of this. Hopefully it actually brings me to the right same spot that we were in. I'll be really disappointed if I actually have to play that game all over again. I mean, extremely disappointed if I have to redo that entire game. Come on. Uh, this is the one thing. is When it loads the data from the server, it's really slow. Come on. Come on, Pokemon Trading Card Game. Do not give me this. All right, there we go. Back to where we were. So what we're going to do is we're just going to attack Vaporeon. We're going to pick up a kill, and now we are tied 3-3. Three, three. As we get another Porygon, so that's good. All he can do is go to Tranquil. I would love... Oh, we have Wally. Wally actually is not bad. So Wally lets us evolve one of our Pokemon. Unfortunately, we don't have any evolution cards. That's actually kind of sad. Uh, but we are going to Hydro Splash here. I have to play this smart because... Vaporeon's the strongest card in my deck until I actually win a couple games. Uh, and unlock new cards for the deck. So I have to be careful in what I do with Vaporeon here. As you guys see there, Doduo isn't going to win me a game. So now i got to start building up Sea King. Looks like he's going to sack off the Pit of. So, Homing Beacon. Look at the top card of your deck, then shuffle the deck. That makes no sense to me. So Seeking only needs one energy, which is fine. I'm okay with that. We're going to pick up another prize card here. So bam, right away, we are one card away from victory. 
is he goes to Furfro. So Furfro has an ability where any damage done to it's 20 less. The good thing is, is Furfro has three energy cost and it's going to take more than, it's going to take two hits to knock it out. So bam, right away. What is this? Buddy, buddy rescue? Tool retriever. Yeah. Eh, doesn't matter. We're going to pick up a win. Wins are good. All right. First victory. Only took 10 minutes and a disconnect. And we got another Sea King into the deck. And then win a match that contains water Pokemon. You see, we got, bam, 25 Poke Coins there added to our account. 27 to be exact. So can't complain with 27 Poke Coins. So... Every day you get a new daily challenge. You get 277 coins. So now we have a fire deck. You guys see we're playing a water deck. Water is strong against fire in the TCG. So what we're going to do is we're just going to go through it with our water deck. There's a couple different water decks here that hopefully they'll make available to us soon. One being the Greninja one. Greninja, very good water deck. All right, so you see we open up no Pokemon in our hand. Again, this is where I explain that mulligan rule. If you do get a mulligan, uh, you will have to shuffle your hand into your deck and then redraw. Well, we start off with an Eevee. Now, I can't complain with that because I can now search a Vaporeon. And once I get Vaporeon out on the field, <coughs> that's pretty much just game. So we're gonna play Skyla. What does Skyla do? Let's just search our trainer card. Now I have four, three water energy in my hand. I don't really need a water energy. Uh, but next turn I may need some draw support because I only have two Pokemon in play. So not much I can do here, but you see he might have three to four Pokemon in his hand. So if he ends up playing one to two more Pokemon onto the bench, you know what? We're in a great position because now this next turn here, I can draw four cards, which will be great because one, my umber, uh, I only have two cards in hand. Uh, we draw some magic carp. That's a, that's a little unfortunate to draw the magic carp, especially when we have no Gyarados in the deck. And once we do get Gyarados, Gyarados is phenomenal in the deck. All right. So we end up drawing. We're gonna play a Wally. Right when I keep thinking that, oh yeah, we don't have a Gyarados in the deck, I play a Wally. All right, well, we got Vaporeon out, and you guys can see there, we're gonna be doing 140 to every single one of these fire types. It doesn't matter. And what's great is, you see this? No cards in hand. Unless he gets a Miracle top deck to get an N, no cards in hand. As, uh, that's pretty much game. Vaporeon's just gonna click and attack every single turn. Oh, there's a Goldeen. That would have been nice to save the Wally and get a Sea King. Well, we see Combuskin here. Only gonna do 20 damage to my Vaporeon. That's okay. Uh, there's Vaporeon, or Goldeen. We're gonna put a Water Energy onto Goldeen. And we're gonna use a Great Ball. Why Great Ball? Well, let's search for a Pokemon to add to our hand. So then we can start building up our bench because Vaporeon might not last the rest of the game. Maybe. It probably will. Oh, he has a Victini on the bench. Interesting. Well, Victini's me first attack can let him draw a card. Uh, but that's actually not going to matter because Vaporeon is just going to go in and click Water Splash or Hydro, Hydro Splash or Vortex Splash, whatever it is. Six times. We got a dive ball there so we can get a Sea King in case that, uh, you know what, we get knocked out or something. All right. Um, let us dive ball for a Sea King. Because now we have another one. It looks like one of ours is prized. Well, if you top decks an energy, I'm pretty much... Uh, just relying on Sea King to win the game. I would ho I would like to go with a clean victory. Yep, there's the other prize, Sea King. Oh, okay, good. He just went into the. He just went to the va uh, Slugma. Well, Vaporeon again. These are all so that you guys can start building 
your decks, you're gonna get coins, you guys are gonna get cards added to these basic theme decks. Unfortunately, I got two Poke Coins, which sucks. Uh, but this is pretty much what you guys are gonna do early on. Just so that you guys can start building up these trainer card trainer accounts. Um, you see, I have two of the seven unlocks for this deck. The electric type, I have none. Um, pretty much you guys got to go all the way through and get into the finals of it. Uh, what we're going to do here is we're going to actually try to get a booster pack off of Mick. Now, why am I saying that? Well, because he is a fire deck and this is... Oh, knock, knock the mic down, John. Why don't you do that? Uh, it's just the easiest booster pack to get early on. I mean, the easiest. So what we're going to do here is we're going to play Eevee. I'm going to play Psyduck down on the bench. Alright, he opens up Victini. And I don't think he can attack. Battle Report. Why would you play Battle Reporter? That was a waste. Alright. Hmm, okay, so... Hopefully I can draw a Vaporeon. Cybolt does 20. Flip a coin of heads. Your opponent's active Pokemon's now paralyzed. So this is paralysis. Not gonna matter anymore. So paralysis, if they if you flip a coin in heads, you break out of paralysis. If you flip a coin in tails, you are paralyzed permanently. But it doesn't matter because we are Vaporeon. Thank, I, thankfully, I top decked that. That, um. What's it called? I forget. Well, I can't max potion. Max potion removes all energy attached and heals your Pokemon completely. So, pretty much, I just have to hope he gets a Tails. That's upsetting. Paralysis can be one of the most annoying status conditions in the Pokemon game. Trading card game. Oh my god, really? Come on, Pokemon Center lady. Unfortunately, I have to use my max potion, discard my energy. But that allows me to Fisherman. So Fisherman allows me to put three basic energy cards into my hand. And... Um, you know what? That's actually a good start. That is actually a good start. So one, I can heal 20 damage for every time I put an energy card onto my Vaporeon. So pretty much next turn is my last chance to get it healthy, and I gotta pray he gets a Tails. That's actually really annoying. Come on, Tails. Bruh. Coin flips are probably the one thing that's going to make you hate the Pokemon trading card game. It is just beyond annoying. Are we kidding? That actually pisses me off. Yeah, paralysis is pretty much just the easy way out if you are getting your ass handed to you. Literally is the only way something like Victini can just sit here in 1v1 instead of being blown back. Can we get a Tails? I'm furious right now. It just doesn't show. Hey, thank you. Jesus Christ. Die. Get off my goddamn screen. Holy hell. That pissed me off. That really pissed me off. And Macargo is actually going to pick up a kill, right? Oh, okay, good. It didn't flamethrower. Woo! 
All right, we're, on, we're gonna end. Why am I gonna end? So the one we can get a new hand. Now, unfortunately, I can't use Lassa Special this turn. But you know what, that's okay. Because now I'm gonna just start picking up kills. So there's a second kill. We're up four to five, we get a Skyla. So I got two supporters in hand. One of which is gonna be a very good draw support here this next turn. Simi Siri probably will pick up a kill. Right? Yeah. So, Vaporeon unfortunately is going to go down. So, the MVP last game is gone. But we are going to play Goldeen. So, we're going to play Last of Special. We're going to draw five cards. And none of which were the ones I needed. Wow. This is the one instance you're actually going to see water decks lose. And that is because of the fact that he got lucky and got like some 12 heads in a row. All right, well, let's go to Psyduck here. So there is one card here that can save me. Now, when I say one card that can save me, it's called Revive. Revive lets me um, get a Pokemon from my discard pile back. Oh, hey, look, that would have been nice. All right, well, we got Seeking. So if worse comes to worse, we will be going into Seeking. And that's worse comes to worse. Flamethrower is going to knock out Psyduck. We're down three to four right now. Come on. Oh, okay, I can just damage it. If this Pokemon was healed this turn, it would have done 80 more damage. That isn't bad. All right, perfect. We got Pokemon Catcher, and the good thing is, is nothing on his field has energy. Nothing. Ooh, if I top deck a potion, I blow away the Simiseer or Panseer, whatever, whatever the stupid monkey is. All right, let's see what we got. Alright, Pokemon Catcher. We've got heads. Give me that Simi Seer, boy. No! God dang it. Well, you know what? That isn't bad. Oh, wait, never mind. Never mind. So, sleep is the other form of uh, just annoyance in this game. Flip a coin of heads, you wake up. If tails, you stay asleep. And look, I'm getting all the tails now. Oh, perfect. Never mind. Simi Seer's going away now. Um, I guess we'll put it on Eevee, I guess. Uh, let us Reckless Charge. Simi's here is now gone, and we are up two to three. Now, I do need to get some of the stronger cards in this deck. All right, Reckless Charge for the knockout. We got one prize card left. So I will be doing some of these games off camera so that I can, one, not bore you guys with the tutorial. Uh, I just want to show you guys some of the stuff uh, that you can do on the Pokemon trading card game. And, well, not some of the stuff, just the free way to play the game. And to really just start off on the free way to play this game, you have to get all of these trainer challenges done. So, bam, right there, we pick up our second win against Mick. Oh, I think we gotta use a different deck. Dang it. Uh, well, well, you know what? We're gonna stick with the water deck. We're gonna go for a third win with the water deck, and we're gonna go water versus water. And this will be the last game of today's episode. Uh, I will try to keep two of these a week. Two to three of these a week coming uh, your way. And you know what? We're gonna lead Goldeen. And I like leading Goldeen because now I can be dealing 40 damage. Pretty easy 40 damage, I think, as well. Oh, and he's going first, too. Nice. So, what we're going to do is we're going to dive ball. I'm going to save that end for next turn. Oh, Lapras. No, 
We're not going to play Lapras. We're going to play Sea King. Alright, and we are going to Reckless Charge for 20 damage on the Love Disc. That's okay because Love Disc only has 60 HP. Next turn winning is a... Uh, what, is, what are they called? Uh, uh, sea King. I'll be able to pick up a easy knockout. Now why did I say I wanted to keep the end? Well, it's for this turn. I have three water energy in my hand. So now I can end my hand, get a brand new hand. You guys see there? Bam! I got another Goldeen, which is good because I have another Sea King in my deck. I saw that when I searched. And I can play Psyduck. And we can attach an energy onto Sea King. And bam, I have another N in my hand. And with that, we can knock out the Love Disc for the 40. Take a prize card. And we draw an Eevee. Now, Eevee's good now because I know I have a Vaporeon in my deck. That is one thing when you search. You want to see what you have in your deck and what you have prized. So here we can play an Eevee. We can get an energy attached to it, and now we can end our hand. Bam, draw five new cards, and you see we have a couple item cards that are of, you know what, pretty good use. We can Great Ball to see what we can get, and bam, we draw Vaporeon off that Great Ball. So with Vaporeon now, next turn, I can have a Vaporeon with two energy attached to it, and be in a very good spot pretty much for the rest of the game. Clauncher, 60 HP. Weasel, 70, uh, 60 HP. Clauncher, 60 HP. So Vaporeon will pick up a couple kills once it comes in. Uh, he's going to play Sail Fossil. I'm going to play another Sail Fossil. Get an Amura onto his bench. Eh, that's okay. We are playing this game. We are playing the Paralysis game. I do not want to start this stuff again. All right, let's see. Um, well, we got Vaporeon set up. I misplayed that. You'll see why. You'll see why. So I'm going to lose my Sea King here. Now, what I should have done is I should have maxed Potion, cleared the 80 HP off of my Sea King, put the energy onto my Sea King, and bam, we can use its first attack here. Soaking Horn for 10 and it does 80 more damage if I was healed. So, misplay on my fault there. That's something you have to understand. You have to understand every situation and what the best play for you is. For me, that wasn't the best play. I should have super. I should have max potioned, put the energy on instead of putting it on Vaporeon. So, my fault there. Uh, let us Skyla. For a dive ball. Now I'm going to dive ball because I want to search out a Sea King. So that I can have some powerful Pokemon sitting on my bench. And now with another Evolve Pokemon on my bench, I know I can be doing a lot of damage. We're just going to Hydro Splash for the knockout. We're going to lead 3-5 to five and pretty much be in a position where we are going to win this game regardless. Doesn't matter what we're going to do, we are going to win this game. Clauncher again is just knocked out. He can bubble me. Unfortunately, it will paralyze me. I hate paralysis in this game. Uh, but it is just something that happens. Hopefully he can get tails. Hopefully he can get tails. Alright. Still no tails. See, I don't care if he builds up that clauncher. I just want him to stop paralyzing me. Okay, just attack me. Yes, okay, good. You went for the crab hammer. That's exactly what I wanted you to do. I don't want to be paralyzed. I'm sick of it. Uh, Wally has absolutely no use because I actually have nothing to evolve in this deck. Unfortunately. Are we going to keep this under 35 minutes again today? That'd be fantastic. All right. Another water energy onto Lapras. Lapras is now all built up, but it won't matter because... Oh, he has Kyogre. That is actually kind of scary. 
I gotta prevent that from getting built up. Ugh. A little tired here. Oh no, you went to Amura. No. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna retreat. We're gonna go Lapras, and I'm gonna try to win the game here. Come on, heads, don't fail. It failed me. All right, water splash, heads. Knocked out, and that's game. Not bad. All right, so we got one star, and we got a Dotrio into the deck. Let's go. We got two more Poke Coins as well. So that will do it for part two here. What I'll do is I'll probably uh, play through the rest of these uh, until I get to the dark water one so that um, I can show you guys the championship match, and I will make sure I have all these kind of just leveled up and then all the packs unlocked. I will not open the packs uh, in here either. But if you guys enjoyed this part, go ahead, like the video, comment your guys' support. If you guys are enjoying this tutorial of how to play the Pokemon trading card game, free to play edition. Also, if you guys want to go ahead, join the Johnny GB Country Club Discord server. That is down below in the description. Join that if you guys want to talk TCG, team building help, dual links, whatever you guys want to talk about. Go ahead, join that. But with all that being said, guys, I am Johnny GB, and I'm out.